Unfortunately, what we have here is called the unnatural growth, and we just get huge AF, and then we just hit you. Squealer is the reincarnation of Richard Garfield, a.k.a. Dr. Dick. Uh, welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight, we have a very special treat for you. Mono Green, Lean Mean Green, Green Aggro. The last Mono Green deck I did, I think it was Green Counters. This one is going to be more like my previous, very older deck called Wolves. Um, but a little bit more aggressive, and I don't think I've done an Alchemy Mono Green yet. There are a few Alchemy cards that help them, well maybe I have, I don't know. There are a few cards in Alchemy that do help Mono Green out a lot. And uh, I really, really want to rush. This was a, a, a kind of the old kind of power pile of good green cards um, mentality here. And I said, well, I need something aggressive. I need something fast that I can really push towards Mythic with. I can. I really want to make an assault on Mythic. And so I'm only a few wins away thanks to this deck. I'm Diamond 1 and only a few wins away from getting Mythic with this mean green. So uh, before we get to the shakedown breakdown, I need to do something for me. Um, tenderly press that like button Gently press that subscribe button Or else, well guys, the like and subscribe will come And brutally maul you Oh yes, he will uh, Join us on our stream every night at twitch.tv Slash that villain J for all the live stream of goodness um, We'd love to have you there First time streamer shout out to Lil Ninja What is up Lil Ninja? First streamer shout out for you man, welcome uh, You can check out our Discord community For all the latest news and information We'd love to have you there Get all the Kamigawa spoilers and everything else. Uh, say hello and deck help. And of course, this deck and all the other ones that I built are available down below on my Aether Hub. So make sure to check those out as well. Okay, so what are we talking about here um, when we're talking about Mono Green Aggro? Well, we're talking about Ascendant Pack Leader. Now you're going to say, Jay, Ascendant Pack Leader, this only really is a lot of value if you have four more. And I've run these in other Wolf decks where you're not getting a lot of value for your money on this one. Um, but I think for this one, um, he's going to be useful because we're going to have some big boys in the back end here. Um, and he is an early play. You see how many early plays we have here. See that? See how much, how little much green we have going in. Most of the deck is very cheap, very, very aggressive green. Um, stompy, but aggressive, not too stompy, not, not some of those big, big high end creature decks. So Senate pack leader is going to help. He gets a one, one counter, uh, for every, com uh, control permanent you control with, uh, when he enters the battlefield. So he's good in the late game. And then if he does, comes into the early game, um, he, every time that you cast a big spell, he'll get more powerful too. Blizzard brawl. You know, we got to run blizzard brawl. It's a snow deck, man. Uh, we got to be running blizzard brawl. Absolutely. We do. Um, Plus one if you have plus one and indestructible if you have three or more and then they fight each other. One of the best green removal cards out there right now. Absolutely. Especially with those big boys we can just smack in with. Tenacious Pup, this is our alchemy card. If you just absolutely positively cannot run alchemy, you, you just can't do it to yourself, okay? Um what can I do? What can you do if you can't just can't run alchemy? However, I recommend that you do because I have a lot of fun with this one. Um so what Tenacious Puff is, is enters the battlefield, you gain one life, and then whenever you cast your net creature spell, that creature's entered with counter, 1-1 one, one counter, trample, and vigilance on it, and of course it's a 1-2. If you can't do it, I do not have the maxed out ranger class, I'd put out maxed out ranger class. Um, not a bad one is Cemetery Prowler, not a bad one is Outland Liberator. Uh, Snarling Wolf is the cheapest one, but I don't really think that that's useful. Um, but any of those will certainly help round it out. Uh, as far as early... Pot, uh, really good wolves are. He's kind of a mid-range wolf, but you're going to be a little bit more expensive. So if you can't run, you just can't bring yourself to run alchemy, that's the one to put in there. Wild Shape. Now, a lot of people will disagree with me, and you're going to say, I want Snakeskin Veil. Sure, go with Snakeskin Veil. However, I feel like I get a lot more utility out of this, being able to... Uh, you know, Snakeskin Veil does add the 1-1 counter, but this one, I feel like the Hexproof 
that which is what Snakeskin Veil gives you. However, that one five with reach, blocking dragons. There's so many dragons in the Haya meta right now. Surprise blocking dragons, and of course, a surprise trample really can win you games. If you want to split the difference and do a Snakeskin Veil on the side, just maybe switch them out. Sure, no problems there. Um, but definitely need something to stop removal. Inscription of Abundance, man, I wish we had something else that was as good as this green card is, but it's probably the only inscription that I ever play. 1-3, um, you can fight somebody you don't control, put two 1-1 one, one counters, or gain X life, which is the greatest power among the creatures you control. If you kick it, if you go full Abundance, uh, you will, of course, get the ability to do all of them, which is fantastic. This is going to be our secondary removal, along with Blizzard Brawl, when we just get huge, gain life, and smack into somebody. Pack Song Pup. A lot of people discount this card, man. Um, at the beginning of combat on your turn, if another wolf or a werewolf you control, uh, if you control another werewolf, 1-1 one, one counter. And then when he dies, you gain life equal to his power. Um, he can get very, very powerful. Now, not everything in this deck is a wolf. We do have some higher-up creatures. Um, we have some trolls and some oddities. We have overall the oddities and beasts and horrors uh, later on. However, we almost always at least have one wolf uh, out. So Paxong Pup certainly will help get more and more and more powerful as we go. I like to hit him. The best one-two that we can get is Tenacious Pup to Paxong. Uh, that way that this thing, is, is it grows and grows and grows and grows, is going to come out as a 2-2, two -two, become a 3-3. Three -three. Vigilance, Trample, and he is powerful that way. Ranger Class. I feel like we don't need that much Ranger Class. Um, you can put more if you want to. A 2-2 two -two Wolf, and you can get those counters, but I feel like at this point everyone's kind of played out. Um, you might want to add uh, what Stignock's recommendation here was add more inscription of abundance and take out Ranger. That's what he said. Now me, I want a little bit of it. Why? Because I want the 1-1 one -one attacking, and I also want the top three. Part of the problem with this big one is if you do get board wiped, it's hard to get back in with creatures. You're going to need effective creatures and spell, and being able to look at the top card of your library at any time, and then being able to cast creature spells from the top can be very useful in the middle to late game if you keep getting board wiped and keep getting hit with removal and can't can't get creatures on the board effectively. Uh, Werewolf Pack Leader, um, of course, is a 3 3, 2 green. Pack Tactics, whenever you attack with 6 or more, draw a card. Till the end of turn, Werewolf Pack Leader. Um, uh, it gets 5 3 and trample and isn't human. So, of course, this will count as a human werewolf. Fantastic card. A lot of power, especially on turn 2. If you do Tenacious Pup into Werewolf Pack Leader, that is a 4 4 Vigilance Trample coming in. Uh, on turn three speaking uh very very effective there and sh she does give you a little bit of card draw as well uh card draw is a little bit of a concern again that's why i said that uh especially with all the wipes there ranger class does help and she does help as well as long as you're attacking with six or more old growth troll is a 4-4 trampler and he is your big boy ramp uh and he is your recursion here a lot of people wondering why are you doing him you don't really need a ramp to very much well it does help uh, it does help get a lot of creatures out quickly. It does help uh, ramp up Ranger class, and it does help us finish off with our unnatural growth, of course. When Old Growth Troll dies, if it was a creature, return it to the battlefield. It's an aura enchantment with forest you control. Enchanted forest has add two green, and then, of course, you can sacrifice it and bring it back as an Old Growth Troll. Um, you can sacrifice the land and sacrifice the enchantment. Boom, it becomes an uh, Old Growth Troll on your turn again. Basically comes back. So, a little bit of mana, a little bit of regeneration, and of course, big tramplers. Um, Uver Walden Oddity, probably the best green card to come out of Vow. Uh, Change my mind. Maybe you got a better one that you like more, but this one, oh, he's, he's, I think he's a little bit left over of that old, uh, he looks like he has praying mantis legs there. So maybe he's not all the way um, Eldrazi, but I feel like he's a little bit touched by Emrakul with this one, man. Uh, trample and haste for two and two shades of questing beast anybody remember questing beast yeah i bet you do um trample and haste you can transform him for seven which is also kind of why we need some ramp and if you transform him he is an eight eight trample haste other creatures you control get plus one plus one and have trample and haste that'll pretty much finish it up man uh if you do get this one out and of course unnatural growth a transformed overwalden with unnatural growth is a 16 16 giving one to everybody and a trample and a haste um yikes bro 
Uh, that's what we're talking about there. So unnatural growth will absolutely push all these growing wolves, all these big, strong, growing wolf boys and beasts and monsters to an absurd level, especially when we're assigning so much trample on things, getting those um, destructions out of the, getting those other cards out of the way. The other thing I like about Inscription of Abundance, don't forget that this is an instant, guys. You can cast this on their turn and make somebody fight or add counters or do something like that. You can hit removal on their turn if you do want to. Blizzard is a sorcery, but uh, Inscription is an instant. So you can crack that and do some serious damage uh, on their turn for as an emergencies um, to pull off some nice tricks there. 19 Snow Covered Forest. Of course, we have to do the modified Faceless Havens. If you want to put some Hydras, I'm not mad. Um, if you want to do more Faceless Havens, sure. But we do have some heavy green costs here at the back end, like 4 and 3. So I don't want to go overdose on the Faceless Havens because what will happen is you'll draw 2 green and 2 Faceless. And then you'll be sitting on Old Growth Trolls and Unnatural Growth and you can't draw them. Uh, and you can't hit them. So maybe not even 3, maybe just 2. Uh, just be careful with that. You might out you might out color mana, mana this deck for yourself. This deck is pretty fast, boy. 2.2 average. I would say it's aggro. It's right on the edge of being aggro. I wouldn't say it's as fast as a green aggro, but it is pretty aggressive. Coming in, we do have a lot of wolves, but we are beasts, human trolls, warriors, and werewolves as well. We are doing a lot of different things here and really, really ripping it up. Um, six instance, four sorceries, five enchantments, 22 lands total, 2.2. Um, occasionally I like to throw in an extra land and run 61 on that, so I don't mind our lovely green backs there. Let's take a look at alternate. Let's take a look at horizontal gang. Um, there you go, guys. Ones and twos, that's what's bringing down our thing. We have a threes, a fours, and a, and a fives right there. Here's our high end. This is a really our finisher cards. All of our wolf boys are cheap. All of our wolf boys are cheap up in the front and really, really aggressing. So that's our pack tactics. That's a, that's our wolf, uh, our wolf tribe right up in the front. And then our big boys coming in, uh, banging out with the trample in the late game. Um, certainly they'll help support. They'll grow with it as the pack grows. Everybody goes stronger. We will have a howl pack resurgence, if you will. LOL, 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 LOL. Um, so, yeah. Do you like that one? You like that reference, guys? You like howl pack resurgence as a reference? Yeah, I bet you do. That's why you're here, guys. It's for great deck builds and also horrible, horrible puns. And, of course, the 90s nostalgia. You can't resist it. So uh, we're going to head up to Diamond Man. We're going to make our assault on Mythic starting now. I'm going to name him something unconventional. I'm going to name my bat. I'm going to name him... Uh... No... Not that. Lucille, the baddest bat that ever lives. I'm the baddest bad alive. I don't take no mess and I don't take no jive. Um, I might name him Gillsbury. <laughs> I wanted a French name for him, but I need I, uh but I needed a um I, I guess the only thing I could think of. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Who's Jenna? Jenna Jameson? I didn't know Jenna Jameson thought she had Gills Beret. And Kid Chaos said, no thank you. Um, I know who Jenna Jameson is. Uh, everyone knows who she is, man. Didn't she sleep with Trump? Oh, 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 I have the perfect name for him. I have the perfect name for the bat. Oh, that's Stormy Daniels. Okay. Stormy Daniels. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, listen, guys. Listen. Listen. The bat's name is Carlsbad. Has to be. Has to be Carlsbad. Such a good name for a bat. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Well, Carl is a silly name for a bat, and bats live in caverns, and I'm naming after Carl's Bad Cavern. Ozzy's, I'm trying not to be too predictable, man. Um, it's like naming him Batty. Exactly, bats live in Carl's Bad Cavern. Or I can name him Shikaka. Who gets that reference? Shikaka. Shikaka. I mean, I know you guys are going to get it. I mean, good lord, man. You guys are going to get it. If anybody gets it, it's going to be you guys. You know what I mean? Carl's bat. Shikaka. The great white bat. Health goth. Okay. Respect. Um... Einhorn and Finkel. Finkel and Einhorn. Lil Vito. That makes it sound like that's his rap name. Yo, 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 what up, what up? It's Lil Vito here coming at you with them fat, fat, fresh rhymes. Oh, I should have activated Faceless Haven to push in too. No, I'd rather cast the. I'd rather cast the uh, old growth on the back end. Yeah, if something big happens, okay. He, health Goth is just gonna. Silver Quill is the secret, bro. That was the secret of my death and taxes clerics. Time and tithe, which wasn't as popular.
Here's a YouTube deep cut. Let's get this all put on. Let's get this all put on onto a tray. Nice. Um, the new pet. What is the new pet gonna be? Um, what is the new pet gonna be? It's probably gonna be like a neon thing, like, like a little um, you know, some some crazy, some little, a little like yeah, like a little spirit dragon. It'll be like a little neon sign or like a flicker of light or something like that. Yeah, like a little swirly eastern dragon, or maybe, um, we already had a cat, so maybe, like, a little fucking Chinese lantern or something, something like that. Um. Almond cat is not bad. I appreciate a good pun. And when I just... My favorite emote of all time, more than I use anything, is the sleeping guy. Mass murder. I am a little bit confused. He's running green, black, red, and blue. He is... Containment breach. Interesting. Anyone else have the issue of uh, that their emotes um, go away randomly? I have no idea what this dude was running. He was running a four color something. I, I have no clue. I have no idea what that was. Chaos Chandler. I mean, there. I don't know what it is. Whenever I play Mono White, they have a nut hand. They have uh, the Luminous Priest into um, Angel of Unity into either Uni Luminous, Luminous Priest into Angel of Unity or into the Voice of the Blessed into Righteous Valk. Like, pretty much consistently.
Oh, very nice, clever. Good job, man. One of these days I'll be on the play, guys. One of these days. Apparently not today, but one of these days. I, the hardest I've ever been. Scoop Dog, how you doing, man? Who else we have here? Uh, let's do that. Oh, double strike on the mic. Like a werewolf in the moonlight. Maul the Skyclave, and that's it. almost an instant kill right there. That is almost an instant kill. Um... I'm going to have to sack a removal to uh, get rid of that. I'm going to have to sack a creature to get rid of that, unfortunately. Oof, look at that. Ten damage. Absolute nut hand. Just a beautiful, beautiful nut of a hand. Um, so let's do... Paxong Pup. He's done his duty. Gotta kill him. Zix Zara. How you doing, Carl's dad? Carl's bat. Carl's Bat Caverns. Carl's Bat. Crag on Intimidator. What are we looking at? You can add the... Oh, look at that. Another Maul, this guy, Cliff. So if I don't kill... I can't kill him right now. So that means I'm screwed. Um, oh, no, I can stop him. Oh, shoot, I can. I can stop him. All I need to do is keep my wild shape ready to go and hope he doesn't have trample. Well, he can. Oh, he's got trample anyway. He's got trample built in. He's got trample built in. Alvar got a battle. He's got double strike already. Look at that. Yeah. He got trample built in, man. Make him a coward. Oh, we didn't get to make him a coward. Oh, and I don't get my trigger of life back. Oh, man, look at that. Not enough removal. Not enough removal. Bor Boros Warrior is very good. Anything Boros is really good in the meta right now, for real. Um, I put that out there. Alright, well, first loss with this iteration of the deck. Not bad. Angel Fire, yeah. Um. Ooh. 
Not exactly a good hand. Opponent goes first again. One of these days, guys. One of these days, I'll go first. One of these days, man. It'll happen. One of these days, I'll go first, man. I'll have to check what my what my uh, what my order of play has been. Yes, I have. Stumpha. What is up, Stumpha? Look, it's Willow Geist. An underused card. We'll have to figure out something to do with Willow Geist. He's gonna take them all in. As I suspected. And Solmar is out of there. Yeah. Ah. All right. Let's uh, see if we can get Diamond 1 right here. Let's see if we can clutch uh, this Frozen Diamond. I think he's not used enough. I think he could be used more, man. I think that in a life game... I mean, a Veto deck, I'd love to, I'd love to hit him, man. I love Golgari Vito because you could do so many life gain shenanigans. You could kill people off the off the back end on those, man. Life goes on with Vito, man. Puka, how you doing? Trucker guy. I don't think I need that many Ascendant Pack Leaders, to be honest. He's not really doing much for me. Hey, look, I want birds. Oh, it's Madge Hysteric. I beat him yesterday. You haven't seen Vita? Oh, my God. Uh, I forgot he's a new villain, man. Forgive him, for he does not know what he has done. He doth hath not know what hath he hath not done. Forgive hath, for he hath not known hath. You can make anything sound dramatic and biblical just by adding the word half. Eh, I don't know, maybe. Is he gonna run him in? Come on, run him in. Do it, do it, come on, I want you to do it, I want you to do it. Yeah, I might have to, man. I might have to before... Uh, you know what I might do before Kamigawa comes out? I might do it. He's going to have a Blizzard Brawl. Yeah, naturally. And I'm going to gain five. There you go.
Oops, yeah, you didn't have enough snow out, did you? Match hysteric. Generally, towards the end is when I run a historic, because nobody cares about the standard meta anymore. So, probably first week of February, I'll run a, uh, I'll run a veto one. I stopped an old man along the way. Hurry, boy, she's waiting there for you. Do 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 do. It's gonna take a lot to grab me away from you. There's nothing more. There's nothing that a hundred men or more could ever do. I bless the rains drown in Africa. I bless the rains. Well, I mean, they're all one ping, so Vito's daughter just works just as well. Like, it's not really that big of a difference. Um, Listen, these are called covers. These are not called lyrics mangling. You can call it, uh... You can call it, uh, ma lyrics mangling, but these are covers. I am covering songs. These are artistic interpretations of the songs that you're hearing, okay? Tenacious Pup, very nice. Yeah, but they're one pings. That's what I mean. It's gain one life, lose one life. Veto is good for big chunks of life being lost. So when you gain eight life and then lose eight life or whatever, that's that's what veto is good for. At least in my opinion, in my humble opinion. Stignock, show me what you're working with, man. Yeah, I probably have most of the vampires and stuff from Historic. And all the old double lands. Ooh, nice. The old Shatter Skull. Fortunately, what we have here is called the Unnatural Growth, and we just get huge AF, and then we just hit you. Squealer is the reincarnation of Richard Garfield, a.k.a. Dr. Dick. Uh, there you go, Diamond Tier 1. Uh, because he was a doctor, and he went by Dick. Uh, Dick freaking Garfield. Um... Man, imagine your name was that cool and you invented such a cool game. Hey, I'm Dick Garfield. I invent magic cards. God damn, man. He also did invent artifacts, so I mean, that takes away a lot from it. What's up, Squealer? You hum you, you hear from the uh, YouTuber? You just hear from, uh, uh, you just hear from off the street. Just hear a random twitcher. Just twitchy. Um, Dr. Dick Garfield, eh? They call me Dr. Dick. You know what I'm saying? From the Aether. Oh, you came from Aether Hub. Wonderful, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. Kite sail. 
Um, hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. This chick was... Remember Andrew Dice Clay? What's in the bowl, bitch? Oh. They're so bad, man. They're so silly. <laughs> Oh man, you gotta stop telling people that, uh, Doctor Don, Doctor Don G, man. They can start believing you, bro. Nobody wants to see what I got to what I got to show. I'll tell you that much, right now. I gotta tell you that right now, man. Sound like the personification of Perry Order. Oh, it's that sweet music. Oh, it sings to me. I'm not the personification of Perry I'm going to put a link to that Pornhub thing and you guys are going to be mad. Okay, listen guys. Next week we're gonna have the photo shoot for um, we're gonna have the photo shoot for Miss Snow's Kitsune cosplay. All right, so you know there's that. Miss Snow's Kitsune cosplay, okay? Yeah. She's got a black and pink flower kimono and fox ears and a fox tail. Yes. If you don't know who Snow Snow is, it's the person on this emote here. Oh, wait, I lost her email. Where did her email go? Oh, I lost it. Guys, if you are subscribed... At the tier that you're subscribed at, you get a discount on merch, by the way. Okay? So if you're tier 1, you get 10% off. Tier 2, you get 30, 20% off. Tier 3, you get 30% off. So if you do want some merch, uh, it is ready and willing for you to just slide on inside of it. You should be finished with the project. Okay. Stumpha. Uh, also, I'm having trouble with the song, man. Tier 10, yes. It would be 100% off. Exactly. Tier 10 would probably be like $1,000. So, that's an awful hand. Uh, that's better. Uh, do that. Ace. We're going to have some awesome stuff. We're attacking Kamigawa full on, ladies and gentlemen. We are just... We are trying to blow up um, on Kamigawa. You know what I'm saying? What is up, Squeal? Looks like we got a diehard villain here, man. He said that, man, this is his spot, bro. This is your spot, man. You're home. Welcome to the Villain Squealer. You should find the YouTube. <sighs> so, 
Squealer. Cleric. Oh, he's got clerics. Alright, what's he got here? Infernal Grasp. Look at that. Sensei Diving Laptop. I don't know what that means. Sensei's Divining Laptop? Yeah. Is that what you mean? from the cellar very nice Tomato potato. Divining laptop. Well, the divining laptop is a uh, is a very um, is an ancient and noble uh, artifact. You know, it's um, it it's uh, you just use it. You know, you got to figure out things with a laptop, so you divine it. Keep having to refresh the stream. Sorry, my guy. Who you gonna block, bro? I think I don't have a backup plan for that. Third world internet. Where do you live, doctor? Oh, yeah, you live in Missouri. Oh, no. where, where do you live? You live in Alabama, so yeah, that's... Third world internet. I get it, man. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Sorry to all my viewers from Alabama, but uh, as soon as your state becomes better, I'll stop making these jokes. Um... <laughs> well, that's why I always say I had, I had a lot of friends that were from Bama, and uh, I always clown on them, and uh, they'd be like, "Man, you was clown on Alabama." I said, "Well, I mean, get get a better state, and I won't be able to do it no more, man. I, I don't know what you want from me." Get a better state. Stop coming last in every statistic. In the United in the United States, Alabama, Mississippi, usually forty ninth and fifty. So quit doing that, and we won't have as bad of a problem as we do right now, will we? Um, so what do we want to do here? Oh, oh, I'm lagging a little bit. I'm lagging a little bit. Oh, am I am I crashing? Yeah, I'm crashing. Yeah, I disconnected. Wonderful, great. You good at the sport ball? Well, that don't count for everything, my dude. The sport ball don't count for everything, my guy. The stream is bad.
we're back. Okay, we're now we're back. Sorry you missed it. Sorry you missed it, guy. We're back now. I killed his righteous Valk. Um, this guy's had a lot of answers lately, there, man. He's, he's had a lot of answers for me. He's had uh, he's had two kill cards, one resurrection card. He's doing all right for himself. A little Orzov life gain here. I'm still having some problems. Oh, oh, we're out again. We're out again. Yeah, we're out. Oh, man. What awful connection issues. Here we go, boys. I think we're back. No, we're not. All right. Resolve. Yeah, we had some bad problems there, guys. Yeah, sorry about that. I think we're back now. I think we're back. Resolve. Yeah, we lost this one because we lost like three turns. Can you see me? Oh, my God. It disconnected and reconnected like five times. That was horrid. What a what a mat what a bad what a bad uh, hit there. Yeah, we're diamond one. Yeah. Yeah, we got diamond one last time, guy. All right, I think it's gonna be the last one to push towards mythic here. Let's see if we can uh, make a little step towards mythic. Yeah, it crashed. It was terrible, man. Uh, this whole stream crashed out, man. The whole stream crashed out. Sorry. Good, good curve right there, man. Nice, nice thick curve. And we're on the play. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully the stream won't crash and cost me games. Um, that's the only question we have. Is it going to crash and cost me games? Do I like NFTs? Um, you know, I'm mixed on NFTs. I think the concept of digital ownership is a good one. Um, oh, well, there we go. Yeah. There, there, there you go, man. Good job. You did it. Um, clever sounds. Almost had me going on a, on a complex debate here. And then he was just like, LOL, nope, that's not what it is. 
Let's see if we can lure him in. No, we can't lure him in. He's gonna kill it. Infernal grasp. There you go. <clears throat> Sanguine brush stroke. Alright. Miyasashi. What is Miyasashi doing here? Miyashio, not Miyazashi, Miyashio. Alright. Doesn't have enough for the hook yet. That's the good news. Voldaren Bloodcaster, alright. More like Verdaren Broadcaster, am I right? LOL, 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 LOL. Um, that doesn't make any sense. That wasn't even a joke. I don't even know what was going on there, guys. I, I blacked out. I gotta be honest with you. All right, let's do this. Un oh yeah, oh that's, oh yeah. Talk about NFTs. Nice, nice fick trolls. Yeah, nice fucking trolls. There's your NFT there, buddy. <laughs> Got him. See, that's how you do a real pun, man. That's how you do a real pun. Just call me the Punisher. I think we did pretty good so i'm gonna leave it right there for this video if you're new don't take off on the stream we still have the shakedown breakdown to go um so just hold your horses but today word of the day is is going to be fur because we're doing a lot of wolves and animals and stuff i've been jay villain and you've been great bye bye